Hi, how y'all doing? It is Monday, the 26th of August, 2024. Here in Ontario, Canada, I think the sky was blue today with clouds. It was. It was like that yesterday. Same kind of day in the 27 area for heat. I looked in the sky yesterday, I remember, and I seen a, a triangle, a white triangle cloud. And there was no other clouds around. I thought, suspicious. Right? But yeah, we'll be seeing lots of those. Hopefully they'll be taking their cloaks down soon so we can see who they, what they really look like. Mr. MBB333 put a good photo up yesterday of one. I've seen clouds like that that aren't clouds because, you know, he does something to them and they're solids right but yeah I had a rough day yesterday a rougher day today the shimmel was at 92 yesterday really high I kept on checking for it but they didn't post it until late right I seen it when I got up in the rise today and I was like no wonder my son's cats went nuts scared the F right out of me right I don't know what triggered anxiety or something. That's it happened. He came home yesterday for dinner and they started morowling at each other. And then one started hissing at her other at her sister, because they're both girls, right? And then, you know, smacking her here and there. And I was I was getting used to it, right? And uh I could feel the pressure, the energy. I couldn't resonate. I wasn't able to resonate with anything on YouTube. I'm having a hard time again today. And uh, my son went to sleep. I went to sleep. And all of a sudden he yells at me, wakes me up. Uh, because this cat bit him on the shoulder when he was sleeping. The one that's hissing at us and her sister. All right, he says he doesn't know how. Maybe he rolled on her or something. So he spent the next 20 minutes trying to or not even 20, maybe 10 minutes, you know, trying to punish her, throwing water on her because she wouldn't stop. She clawed him, she swatted at him, all right? Because he freaked out and just started screaming when she did it. So after that, he freaking got them out of his room and closed his door. And I was like, fuck, what do I do? I tried to leave my door open, but they were morowling and hissing at each other. So I closed my door. They stayed in the hallway between the two bedrooms all night doing that. Right? And I got up, went to go to the bathroom, and they charged at me. But I took a towel, right, and hung it in front of me so that if, you know, they swatted at me, they would get the towel instead. I grabbed a handful of treats and threw them out, right? And they went running after the cookies instead of me, kind of thing. And all night long, I was awake every two hours, just tossed and I turned and felt like my body, my bones and my body were on fire, right? My hands, my feet, everything. I was hot, but then I wasn't, I didn't have access to the AC either because he had closed his bedroom door and so had I. So, yeah, I stayed in bed. I woke up at around six something and, uh, because I wasn't feeling well when I went to bed, see? I, was, I knew something was off in the energy. I just wasn't sure what it was. See? Confirmation. Did you hear that? So, uh, something was off in the energy. And, uh, so I went to bed early. About 6.20 something when I woke up, I was like, nope, they're still out there. I am not dealing with this. And I just laid back down and waited for my son to get up. And when I heard him open his door, I was like, okay, now we'll see what kind of mood they're in, right? So I asked him, I said, will you go down and make me a tea? You're right, your cat's having my anxiety so high. And uh, I, I guess having a hard time breathing, I guess the stress and everything um, put my spine out and I was in so much icky sensations, right? And I was like, I'm not sure if this is the fibro or if this is the, the energy or what, but it friggin' hurt. 
I asked, and he said he would. And, but I was, I dared myself, and I went downstairs, and I didn't get attacked, right? I know I don't know what I'm so afraid of. Is it a little creature, right? I could probably kick it across the room. Sure, I might get scratched, but I could probably off it if I wanted to. But I don't want to cause harm. She's going through a hard time, too, right? But I don't know. My anxiety just... <laughs> It just went off the chart, right? But my hands weren't sweating, which is one of the signs for me of my of anxiety. So I wasn't sure exactly what was going on, but I was very uncomfortable all night, and I felt it all day today too, right? Not as bad as I did throughout the night. The Schumann today is at 71. So the cat's finally... I asked my son to take off the day and stay home with his cats because they had me so stressed out. I had a headache. I was crying, right, because I was in so much icky sensations. I could hardly move my back. So he did, right? And I told him I'd give him the wage, just the wages for the day. It was, you know, probably a couple of hours or whatever. He said, okay, but he wasn't happy about it. He wanted to go. And I said, I get it, but they're your responsibility, and I don't trust them right now, All right? So it worked out. He did that for me. I'm grateful because I, I don't know what would happen. It took a few hours for them to calm down after I got up, after we got up in the rise. I felt I laid down around 11.30, too, because I was so tired. I hardly got any sleep last night. And I went, I had dreams. And I had that darn dream where I can't open my eyes again. I'm awake in a dream, but I cannot open my eyes. All right? And I had a little kid with me. And I found my puppy and my kitten. All right? I had lost a little puppy and a kitten, and they were playing together in this park a lot. I don't remember much of it. I, I can't remember what I was trying to open my eyes for. Just doing stuff, everyday stuff kind of thing. All right? So the chief says that's what did he say again? Fourth dimension mind walking? All right? Not sure. But yeah. I do know that they died, uh, what is it called again? Mm, Chicago River read it was a celebration to support abortions to celebrate abortions who would do that women that get abortions would not celebrate it they would not it's the most horrible thing it really is i was forced to when i was young a teenager right by my mother and my great aunt and it was the most painful thing i've ever done in my life I was horrible, and I swore I'd never do it again, and I never did, all right? But I know that I didn't have anybody to force me either and threaten my life and, you know, make me homeless and everything like that because I was a teenager. But, yeah, I die at red to celebrate abortion. Who would do that? The satanic cult. That's who the governments, right? <laughs> the abortion clinics, the doctors who do them, stuff like that, right? Big money. It's uh, blood magic. There's money magic, blood magic, and sex magic. And this is a blood magic ritual. I'm sure of it to signify it, right? That's what they use the abortions for, the fetus and the placenta. It's a, you know, Put it in our food, in our drinks, your colas, stuff like that. Anything that has natural flavoring. And I told you this before in my videos a couple of years ago. If you're all paying attention or not. Who knows, right? I don't drink that stuff. Any, I, for, I haven't for 20 years had a pop or a soda of any kind because of the fibro. I'm not able to. It hurts me too much. So, yeah. I didn't make a video yesterday because it just, the energy just had me. 
Alright, I did my laundry. I did housework kind of stuff yesterday. And when it came time to make a video, I just felt too icky. And I decided to go to bed early. Did not pay off. Alright, did not pay off at all. I ate my supper. I had enough energy to make supper today. Alright, and as soon as I ate, I sat in my chair and I was watching that YouTube. And uh, I fell asleep. And I just opened my eyes at like 27, 25. And I was like, holy cow. I already, I had a nap, right? But I guess I needed more. So, I hope I sleep well tonight. I do. I hope the felines are in a better way. Their eyes are shining green. Like, you know how it gets glassy, right? How they get that shine. For the last couple of days, I knew something was up because they don't normally look like that, all right? So they're feeling the energy too, and it's hurting the one severely. The other one's going into heat. It's driving the other one crazy. Right? I hope they're okay, and I hope they leave me alone. I hate being scratched by cats. My felines, I've had many in my life, have never acted like his. Right? Never. They would have never done that. They've never done that. They were full of love. Right? Because I treated them like I raised my children. So I love with love. Not stuff with love. Right? But yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if I would, could make a video today or not. I was, I'm feeling, I'm feeling run over, run through. But I guess we're going through a lot of squares in the planetary alignment, astrology, stuff like that. Okay? And that's what squares do to us. It's rough energy. How are you doing? Are you feeling it? I hope everything's going good for y'all, better than it is for me. Really? I do. It's not fun. I don't wish this on my worst enemy. There's no sense in that. There really isn't. Okay, at least I got on here and I said hi. And you know I'm all, you know I'm, you all know I'm still kicking, right? Yeah, I am. She was at seventy-one, so my ears are ringing too. Well, they ring off and on, but today they've been ringing all day. I haven't answered my phone either. Two men, the suitors, the guy I drive around, and my buddy George. I've been calling me for the last couple of days and I just turn off my phone. All right? Because I'm crazy. Remember? They called me crazy. But yet they still want to be in my energy. Energy vampires, right? They're the Mr. Smiths here to try to take me off my path. But it's not going to happen. I am not a stupid young woman anymore. I'm not. I got ten toes down and I'm standing firm. I know what I want and I won't buckle for it for anything else. I won't accept nothing less. All right? Because I don't even know who I am or where we are. <laughs> so what do I want to mess with anybody for? Could be an alien and not one that I like, right? Oh, and the astrology is saying today for people that are psychic and all that, that we're going to be seeing that who people really are, who, what attachment their souls have. And our faces, we're going to get flashes, right, of whatever, you know, their true self, their attachment. And I was like, Frank, I've already been doing that. That's been happening my whole life, right? It's going to get more intense. Great. So I got to try not to get startled when it happens and scream in people's faces, right? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Not really. So, if you start seeing that, you're not going crazy. It's your gifts. Okay? Because we all are psychic. We are. If you have, put it in my comments. I'd like to know what you've seen. Right? I tell you about my stuff. All right.
that's enough. I won't bug you too much. I love you also, consciousness. Keep your vibe high and stay firm. Stay true to yourself. Know thyself. I'll say it again. I love you also, consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Okay. Bye.